I think we need some some shaking. I think that I think that ne masse porto tele le lene desi jete barokuta rande. I told my church to pray. 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 Amen. The moment we begin to get to that place where we feel all of a sudden, that's when we get to that place of boldness. If you don't mind, go ahead and stand up. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I didn't confuse nobody. Hopefully I didn't disappoint anybody. If I did, it's your pastor's fault. He invited me on short notice. He didn't give me time to fast and eat communions and have any daisy bread or any of that stuff. He didn't give me time to go to Bible school for six more years. Hallelujah. Let me tell you right now, if you've got something going on in your body, you've got something going on in your body right now, lift your hands to heaven. Because God's going to heal that body right now. You ain't, you ain't depending on me because I can't do squat. Lift your hands to heaven and let Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the true and only physician, heal your body. Because right now, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Now, if there was something physically wrong, begin to move your body. If there's something wrong with your knee, begin to move your knee. If there's something wrong with your arm, something wrong with your neck, begin to move that part of your body that was hindered. Come on. Now, if it was your blood pressure, when you get out of here, go down to the research and check your blood pressure. If it was your blood sugar, go down and grab your meter and check your blood. I expect miracles to take place in your body. You all right? Oh, okay. Hallelujah. I expect miracles to be happening in your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nah, he'll be there in a minute. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, you start speaking the word bold. You start speaking the word bold. You start speaking the word bold. You don't let nobody or nothing stop you from that. You start speaking the word boldly. Everywhere you're at, shout it from the rooftop. Because that's what people are looking for. There'll be some that look at you, snub their nose. Let them. You don't think they didn't do that to Jesus? They did that to Jesus. They go, oh, who did that? He don't look like what we're looking for. He smelled like a manger. We're looking for a street smell. That's what they thought. Looking for something different. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Go a different way. Go a different way. Go a different way. Go a different way. Full of that fire. 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 Oh yeah. Permeated. Saturated. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chris, you got something? You sure? Check again, see. 
Hallelujah. 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 Woo. You know, when you look around, you got a plan for down the road. I'm talking, I'm talking to you and Pastor Roger. You got to be looking down the road because you ain't going to be able to contain people. You're going to have to be looking. You're going to have to be looking. I mean, you can, you know, comfortable is comfortable. But sometimes I got to be uncomfortable. Got to be looking. Got to be planning on that. Got to be praying that out. Got to be walking that out. You know, if there's something already on your guys' uh, hearts, you already seen a little piece of something that's on your hearts, you know what to do. Start walking on it. Start taking some steps on it. I'm not saying steps of throwing cash on it. Steps of throwing prayer on it. Walking out on it. Praying it out. Pray it out. Say, all right, Lord, we see this here. What do you think of this here, Lord? What do you think of this here, Lord? Lord, what do you think of this here? What do you think of this here, Lord? What do you think? That's what I think. That's what I think. He'll do it. 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 That's what I think. That's what I think he'll do it. That's what I think he'll do it. That's what I think he'll do it. You know, when that devil gets a pop in that head, that's what I think he'll do it. 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 Hallelujah. That's all I got to say about that. Not good enough. Hallelujah. Chris, did you have some? Sure, buddy. Hallelujah. All right, well, I'm going to turn it over to Pastor. Chris, come on up here. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Don't start pray, stop praying now. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's go somewhere together real quick. Just jump on in. That's how you do that. You just you make a choice in life. You just make a choice. That's how quick change comes. You make a choice. That quick, right? You make a choice to step into the Spirit of God. Smith Wigglewood said, I didn't wait for the Holy Ghost. He said, brother, I just... Ah, woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Change is on the way, brother. That's what he said. He said, change is on the way. Hallelujah. Because God's got something in store. He didn't mean for life always to be a struggle. Glory to God. He said, I'll go ahead and open that door. Didn't he say that? He said, I'm the God that opens doors that no man can close. And I close those doors that no man can open. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, man. Jump on in. Because that's where we live. That's where we got to live. That's where we got to live in the spirit. You didn't learn how to talk in English overnight. You ain't going to learn how to pray in the Holy Ghost overnight you got to practice it man you got to practice it glory to god you just got to jump on out there oh hallelujah thank you father hallelujah 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 because i'm not going to be afraid of the dreams and the plans that god's got for my life I'm not going to be afraid of the dreams and the plans that he's got for my life. Glory to God. You're a blessing, brother. Glory to God. Come on, man. Just step on out in the spirit of God. Don't be afraid. I love what he said. Don't be afraid what man will say of you. Man, what shall I say to these things? Glory be to God. If God before me, who can be against me, man? You hear what I'm saying? Stay. You're a blessing to the body of Christ. You've got a sweet spirit, man. It's a spirit of joy. Man, come on, if people could get that spirit of joy and thanksgiving just to be happy, regardless of what comes their way in life, man, come on, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory be to God, you're a blessing to the body of Christ, brother. You're just a blessing, hallelujah. God calls you blessed. That's what we are, hallelujah, ain't that right? God calls you blessed. Didn't you sing that song, something like that? Come on, God calls us blessed. 
Hallelujah. Heka da bro boko so mande de ke sika da da bro boko so nda ha. E da 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 bro boko da de de ya da da bro boko so mande de ke sika da bra. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit of the Lord. God, Jesus never did one great work until the spirit of God came upon him, did he? He was 30 years old and he didn't move no mountains. He didn't heal no sick bodies. He didn't have no words. He didn't know nothing to the spirit of God. I'm telling you something, man. If you're afraid of the Holy Ghost, you might as well just be afraid of God because that's who he is. And he's got plans for you to prosper you, to bless you, to bring you out, to bring you through, to get you over, to get anywhere. But you're not going to know it unless you're full of the Holy Ghost. You're not going to hear it because that's how we hear. Isn't that right? Glory be to God. I just want to encourage you with what my brother said. Hallelujah. That touched me. I found myself at times falling back. Glory be to God. It's like, wait a minute. You get around some of them kind of stuck up snobbish people that don't believe in the God. It's like kind of hold back. It's like, no, no, man. I got, I got to get back to me. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. See, because when the power comes, that's when change comes. When the power comes, that's when change comes. You hear what I'm saying? Just own it, man. Just own it. You know with God, you know how you don't worry about what people say about you? You just own it. Because when you bring change, when you bring power, and you bring change, they won't understand everything about why you're a little bit different, but they won't care. Because you've got something in your life to offer them that they want, that they don't have. Glory be to God. Because you can change the road that they're going on. Oh, come on, man. Help me, Jesus. You can get them over the top. You can move the mountain for them. You don't even got to worry just about the mountain in your life, brother. Change is coming, so you're not worried just about the mountain in your life, but you're going to take care of the mountain in their life, too. That's what the Holy Ghost can do for you. Glory be to God, sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, man, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. How you doing? Glory to God. God is good, man. You got to want some Holy Ghost, man. That day of Pentecost. I want some power in my life. Do you want power in your life? I want power in my life. I want the real thing. I don't want this fake thing. I don't want this watered down thing. I don't want this imagined thing. I don't want this emotional thing. I want a God thing, man. Because when I'm facing a mountain, it's a real mountain. You hear what I'm saying? It's got sharp and pointy edges. It causes pain and hurt in your life. And it's real. It's serious. It's a real matter. And I need real power that can move it that's what the holy ghost is for in your life girl run to the arms of god man he'll said the bible says whom the son sets free is free indeed but that son who set you free couldn't do one mighty work until he was full of the holy ghost until he was full man if jesus if god on this earth couldn't do it without the holy ghost how do you think you will come on man What's going on in your life? What affairs? He said, you'll speak to this mountain and it'll be cast into the sea. He said, light be and it was. Who was hovering over the face of the deep? Who was over the waters? It says the spirit of God was hovering. And how did the father raise Jesus from the dead? But that same spirit that dwells in me. Hallelujah. The same spirit. He rose Jesus from the dead by the spirit. Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost is hovering in this earth, and he'll hover in your life, man. Glory to God, if you'll just say, let there be. If you'll just say, let there be. If you'll just say, let there be life. If, if you'll just say, let there be light, man. <sighs> oh, me, Jesus. That same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, the Bible says, quickens your mortal bodies. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead quickens our mortal bodies. Come on. He said we hold. How you doing? Glory to God. God is good, right? Come on, give me a high five. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Hallelujah. We hold this treasure in earth and vessels. We hold this treasure in earth and vessels. And we're changed from glory to glory. He didn't say from dead word to dead word, did he? He said the spirit of God, it's alive, man can't be afraid of that holy ghost it's the change you're waiting for and get alone with them get in the power and the presence of god on your own brother come on you hear what i'm saying <laughs> man i didn't glory to god but on the way up brother <laughs> i mean you forced me to come up here so come on glory to god that's all between you and god hallelujah you know that? Go ahead. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. You got you got some out there. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. You know, it's the Spirit of God that, that, that brings life. It's the Spirit of God that raises the dead. Thank God I don't got to do nothing. Thank God we're just the delivering vessel. Ain't that right? Jesus was the authority and the Holy Ghost was the power. You got that? With no authority, there's no power. And if you don't have power, no authority is not going to do you any good. You hear what I'm saying? That officer's got a badge, and he can get them in any door, right? But you know, if that bad guy wants to come about him, and he don't have that thing on his hip, then he don't have no power to stop him, does he? Power without authority is no good, nor, nor authority without power. So, Father, we just thank you in the name of Jesus. We just take authority over these children's life, over these man. Let me have you hand me. Over this man and this woman right here, and all of these children in this place. Oh, come on, here, da 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 casa de. And we just speak to the power of darkness. We just speak to the power of darkness. And we command you to take your hands off of them. We command you to loose them and let them go. <laughs> Glory be to God because, yeah, we're energized by the Holy Ghost. We're full of your spirit. We're full of your presence. We're full of your anointing. We're full of your power. Man, God, I don't care if it's in the dope house. I don't care if it's in the crack house. I don't care if it's on any street corner. I don't care where it's at, Father. I don't care if it's in the whorehouse. I don't care if it's in the casino. I don't care if it's in the worst gutter in the state of Oklahoma to Wisconsin to wherever they are in this world. I thank you that your life, your life can set them free. Your word can touch them. They can hear your voice, Father. The psalmist David said, if I make my bed in hell, you are there. And so I'm praying the power of the Spirit of God will touch them now where they are. I don't care if they're smoking a joint. I don't care if they're putting a needle in their arm. I thank you that they're going to have a revelation of who you are. I don't care who you got to send down the corner. I don't care if you talk to another drug addict. I don't care if you talk to someone who's there or not there to set them free. I don't care if you talk through their dope dealer. I thank you that everywhere they go, I thank you that every corner that they come across, I thank you that everywhere they go, they're going to come across witnesses full of the power of God, full of the Spirit of God, full of the presence of God. They're going to continue to hear your voice everywhere they go, Father. Oh, I thank you that God's circumstances are going to cause them to be still and hear your, hear your voice and know that you are God, Father. They're going to run into you everywhere they go. Men and women are going to come across their path constantly full of the word of life, full of truth, and full of your Holy Spirit. And I'm asking right now that you'll take and you'll touch and you'll change that desire. I thank you for your anointing right now. That's giving them a heart after God's own heart. To set them free. I thank you that blinders are removed and the eyes of their understanding are enlightened. I thank you that they're able, those shackles are gone and they're able to see the truth. They're able to see the hell that they're in and they're able to see a way out. And Father, I just thank you for it. I thank you for it. I thank you for the man of God and the woman of God that's coming into their path and into their life. I thank you for examples. I thank you for influence. Oh, I just thank you for it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I thank you for these little ones. For, we, we, you know, you can't get enough praying for children, can't you? Come on, glory to God. I thank you for these little ones that you love them so. I thank you that your hand is upon them. I thank you that your spirit is upon them. I thank you that there's good influences in their life. There's nothing but love. There's not loneliness. You're surrounding them with love. I thank you, Father, that you're surrounding them with love. I thank you that you're just wrapping your arms around them. You're, gonna let, you're letting them children know that they'll be all right. And I just thank you for it, Father. I just praise you for it. I bless you. I give you all the glory. Hallelujah. I give you all the honor, all the power, and all the praise. And we thank you for it. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Daddy. So don't be afraid of that Holy Ghost. Yeah, we thank you. You're, you're just sending them laborers across their path, Father God, right now. Those are the, the ones, the, the boys and the girls, the men and the women, the children that we're praying for. That you're sending those laborers across their path. We thank you that the Spirit of God's not... <laughs> oh, glory to God. I, I thank you, Father, that, man, they haven't done this in a long time. They haven't rested peacefully in a long time, Father. They've not rested peacefully in a long time. Oh, but they're going to know how to rest peacefully soon because they're going to learn to hear your voice. They're going to see you in the wind. They're going to see you in the rain. They're going to see you in the storms. They're going to see you in, in the tornadoes. They're going to see you in everything in life, Father God. Everything is going to speak clearly of who you are in their life, Father. Every circumstance, every situation, they're going to look and they're going to be able to see God, Father. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, I just thank you that you're sending those laborers across their path, that you're working that work. And you said, Father, that you would gather them from the east and the west. You'd bring them home. So, Lord, we just thank you that the Spirit of God is moving now. You're setting up divine circumstances. You're setting up divine situations. You're setting up oppor opportunities, Father. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some people, there's, there's a, there's a God designed whirlwind of the Holy Ghost coming in their life, man. There's an encounter of the presence of God that they just can't shake, that they just can't deny, and they just can't explain that they're going to have to say that's got to be God. I didn't know he was real before, but now I do for myself. I know he's real. There's got to be a God. And that's the God I want to serve. And I just thank you for it, Father, that those men and those women, those children are coming home. I give you all the glory. I give you all the power, all the honor. So just don't deny the Holy Ghost in your life because he is what will set you free. He is what will set you free. He is our comforter. He is our paraclete. He is our helper. He is our ever-present help in time of need. He's our wisdom. The, the, the Bible, Jesus said, man, he said, it's imperative that I go away. Come on, he had walked with them for three years. I mean, they saw more miracles that you can, you can even imagine, that you can count, that you can think. They saw blind eyes open. They saw the dead raised back to life. They saw families restored. He went into villages and he went into towns and he went into cities, not just small groups like this. Like he went into Tulsa and Broken Arrow and it says he healed them all. Man, and he just healed them all. And then he went to the next one, and he just healed them all, man. And, and he went over there, and he just healed them all. And he went to Chicago, and he <coughs> excuse me, healed them all. He went to New York, and he healed them all. And he told these men, man, they slept with him. They ate with him. They walked with him day by day. And he said, man, it's more imperative. It's more important that I go away because if I don't go, the comforter will not come. Are you going to tell me we can do without the Holy Ghost in our life? No, man, I don't, I don't think so. We need them in every business deal. We need them in every day-to-day -day transaction, every affair of our life. When we're talking to our children, we need to know what to say, when to say, how to say it, what not to say. Come on, he's, he's our helper. He teaches us to pray. When I was in the, on the Lord's day, I was in the Spirit. That's in the Holy Ghost. And that's not just praying in the Holy Ghost. That's words of English. I mean, just the words you say need to be in the spirit. There's a presence that we're supposed to carry. Don't be afraid. Don't push back from the Holy Ghost. When the devil wants to push you back from the Holy Ghost, you need to go that much stronger. You hear what I'm saying? Okay, fine, devil. I get your point. I'm going harder towards God. I'm going, I'm going to press into the Holy Ghost. I don't care how crazy. Come on, man. You've been crazy in the world. You've been drunk, you've been high, you've been acting a fool, and you thought it was funny. I mean, we can get excited at a football game, but we can't get excited about God. We can't get ex Why is that weird when we get excited because of the presence of God and the Holy Ghost? You can feel an atmosphere when you walk into the room. When you're in the presence of God, you can experience it's tangible. It's a real living force. You can reach out and touch it, and he'll reach out and touch you, and it'll change an empty, hungry heart. It'll change a hurting heart. 
It'll make the mad glad. It'll turn sad, all kinds of happy. I'm going to tell you to glory to God. Go on and on all night. He'll set you free. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Talk about them atmospheres real quick. I'm just reminded of one story when I was in college and I first got, uh, it's about your age, glory to God. And uh, my parents, unfortunately, they used to fight a lot. You know, so I can sense when I walk into a room, if there's been fighting going on, boy, I can tell you, I don't got to know anything. I don't got to see faces or people. You know, you can feel those presences when you walk right into them. And they're words. It wasn't physical fighting. It's just words, harsh words. I remember I didn't know what I was doing. I, didn't, I wasn't taught anything per se. I didn't know this. But I remember I came home from college one day, and they were in there. I mean, it, was, it was bad. Boy, it was intense. It was harsh. I guess maybe that's why it's hard for me to even watch a fight anymore. Some people run to blood. Doesn't the Bible say something about those, those evil people that are swift to blood? It's amazing. That's a shameful thing. I remember, I can't even watch anymore, but I remember they were arguing and fighting, and it was real bad. And all of a sudden, here I am, a college kid. I don't know nothing about anything, but I just raised my hands and started praising God. And I'm going to tell you, man, you know, and I, I don't necessarily like to say some of these things because, you know, sometimes people just think you're crazy. But, you know, it's like the presence of God just came all over me, man. Just completely changed the atmosphere that I, w- I was in. Went from, it's just like covered me totally. Just took me out for the first time in my life. I mean, it was so bad. I remember always, always growing up, 10 years old. Boy, if I would have had the nerves, I'd have packed my bags and walked out the doors. I just didn't know what I was going to do. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Don't push back from the Holy Ghost. He'll change your life. He'll set you free. He'll take care of them demonic forces. He can take care of drug addictions. He can take care of alcohol. He can take care of marijuana. You hear what I'm saying? He can take care of meth and cocaine. You know, he can take care of any kind of idolatry. That's all that is, putting the flesh first above God. Whoo, glory to God. So don't push back from the Holy Ghost. Jump on in. Get to know him. Do it alone if you got to. You don't got to have nobody there. I get as crazy alone as I do and excited where I get with people. You think I'm kidding, man? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because I got to make myself happy. Because sometimes it don't seem like there's too many reasons to be happy. So me and the Holy Ghost just start having a good time. Glory to God. Come on, man. Everybody's not always going to be on your side, are they? We found that out real quick. Ain't that true? Man, sometimes you just got to get happy. You know the Holy Ghost is your get happy partner. You hear what I'm saying? I mean, come on. The Bible says they were drunk on a new wine. I need some new wine. See, because I've been drunk before. (laughs) Glory to be God. Hallelujah. I've been high before. You know, and it was fun for just a little bit, you know, just for a little bit. But glory to God, I need something that's steadfast. I need something that's fun that I can get high in the morning, high in the afternoon, and drunk at night, and wake up without a hangover and still go to work. Glory be to God. You hear what I mean? I need something that can defeat the power of the enemy. Glory be to God. Come on, let them get drunk and high around me all along. I'm just going to shout hallelujah. I can have a good time with the best of them, and all I need is the Holy Ghost. Drunk this new wine. This is that that was spoken of by the prophet. Come on. This is that. You got something to get excited for. He's your get excited for partner. He's your get. Come on, man. When your best friend ain't there, when your lover ain't there, when your husband and your wife ain't there even, the Holy Ghost is still there. Glory to God. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. You're never alone, man. You got something to get excited for. And the Holy Ghost will stir you up. Hallelujah, you just jump on in, glory be to God. On some new wine, I go down the road all the time shouting hallelujah. People are looking. I got a loud voice. I don't need this microphone. People in other cars are looking, glory be to God, hallelujah. Well, they're driving down the road cussing people out. I'm driving down the road getting drunk on a new wine, praising God, glory to God. Hallelujah. So anyway, I told you I could go all day. What are you doing, brother? (laughs) Hallelujah. This new wine. This new wine, this new wine, come on, man, hallelujah, this new wine. You been drunk before? I have, but I like the Holy Ghost. It's so much better. Come on, glory to God. It is so much better to be filled with life, to be full of the Spirit, to be full of character. Man, that's, I mean, the Holy Ghost, we go on all day what he'll do for you. He's our partner, right? He's our friend. Come on, glory to God. Hallelujah. This new wine. The church needs some new wine, guys. We don't need pretend. We don't need acting like we're drunk, and we don't need drinking with the world. We need some real new wine where there's a difference, where there's a tangible force in our life that can change when we, something when we walk into a room that can make the sad happy. We need this new wine. 
Man, you know, if you're walking around with a sad look on your face, don't nobody want to be like you. <laughs> nobody wants to serve a poor, broke, pathetic Jesus. You hear what I'm saying? Come on, this new wine, we need it. 